Well, if a hurricane destroys your home, should you still have to pay for home security? So many people here in Metro Detroit have connections to Florida and are among those picking up the pieces. And one local man says he was shocked by what he was told when he called ADT to cancel service after the disaster. Yeah, it all started when the wrath of Hurricane Ian came pummeling down on Sanibel Island. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell explains. As Hurricane Ian hit Sanibel Island, Bingham Farms attorney Corey Silverstein watched from Michigan. A few years ago, his family bought a vacation home there, where, as you can see, they made memories and friends. It destroyed everything. Uh, we had eight and a half feet of surge water all throughout the house. So, you know, imagine if you're looking out at the ocean and you see white caps, white caps being just waves just going over. We had white caps in our living room and kitchen. Pictures show how those waves put his fridge on his kitchen island, dropped his boat in trees, and destroyed the support structure of his house. It will have to be torn down. This week, he called to cancel utilities. With Xfinity, no problem. Then he called the security company ADT. She basically said no. She said you can't cancel. Silverstein says as a lawyer, he pointed out the contract does provide outs for acts of God, but got nowhere. I said, I want to keep my services then. So why don't you go ahead and, and you know what? My services aren't working right now. So I'd like you to send some ADT techs out to try to fix my service. Silverstein says the representative knew this was a ridiculous request. The bridge to Sanibel Island was destroyed and power out. Still, this is the bill ADT sent him, billing him for the entire value of the contract upon receipt. Silverstein says he reached out to 7 Action News because, in his legal opinion, people should not have to pay this, and he fears other people are dealing with the same thing. I reached out to ADT, and as I met with Silverstein, got a response. ADT says they waived the charges. This is why I called you to begin with. <laughs> ADT emailed me that they work with customers after disasters. As we met, Silverstein got a voicemail notifying him of a credit. And for other people that are that are still dealing with this, I would probably point them to this story and I would point them to uh, to you, Kim Russell. ADT did not explain why Silverstein was put through such trouble trying to cancel. He hopes this makes a difference not just for him, but for others. Kim Russell, 7 Action News.